You've got how many children? Three? Three boys. We also have 19 grandchildren. What is your best advice to them? I've had the chance to watch some of the greatest men in the history of the earth grow old and lose some of their physical capacity. Elder Robert D. Hales was our neighbor. I learned remarkable lessons from him. Robert Hales was a phenomenal athlete, a great baseball player, fighter jet pilot. He was the CEO of Gillette in his late 30s. Now he's in his 80s, can barely walk. And I would go sometimes on Sunday to be with him at his home and just visit. And one day I said, Elder Hales, what do you learn when you've been so capable in everything and now you're so limited in almost everything? I will never forget the answer he gave me. He said, David, when you can't do what you've always done, then you only do what matters most. And he said, David, you don't have to wait till you're 80 to learn that. See, there's a lot of folks, I think, in this gathering here today who, if they would really think about that, they're consumed in some things that really don't matter. And they haven't looked up long enough to figure out these things don't matter. You don't have to be old and infirm to learn that lesson if you're wise. If you can learn that lesson, you'll live a different kind of a life and be even more successful.